Hello everyone, so a lot of people were asking me about the best DSA courses that are available. So I'm making this video about the top 5 DSA courses that you can take. And I'll be making another list in the future where I'll try to include more websites but for now here we go. So at the bottom of my list we have Master the Coding Interview, Data Structures and Algorithm. So this is a great course. It is like a complete coding interview bootcamp. They teach you about data structures, they teach you about algorithms and they teach you how to use them to crack your coding interviews. They also teach you the implementation of every data structure of every algorithm in a very efficient manner and it is overall a great course. However, there's only one thing, there's only one downside of this course which I could find and that is that it is taught in JavaScript. So usually when people are going into DSA, they prefer either C++ or Java and even I suggest to take either C++ or Java but this course is in JavaScript. So if you are someone who already knows JavaScript or if you are someone who's a web developer or if you're a professional web developer looking for a job switch, then this is a great course for you. The content is great, the way of teaching is great, but like I said, the only thing is that it is in JavaScript. So that is one thing that you need to be aware of if you're taking this course. Apart from that, the course is pretty much top notch. Next up on my list, we have Mastering Data Structures and Algorithms Using C and C++ by the man himself, Abdul Bari. So this is one really great course. It is taught by Abdul Bari himself, who pretty much everyone in computer science community knows. So he has explained every data structure and every algorithm really well. And there's one thing missing in this course that is dynamic, pro dynamic programming. So dynamic programming is missing from this course. That is one thing that you should know of. And apart from that, whatever he has taught, he has explained in a really well manner. And the focus is more on the theory part and the implementation part rather than the problem solving part. So he has explained some problems, but the focus is more on the understanding rather than the problem solving. And he has implemented everything in C and C++, which is a great thing because C++ is a popular choice for DSA. And he explains everything on a whiteboard like he does on his YouTube channel. So he explains every data structure on the whiteboard so that it is easier for you to understand. So if you are someone who's having trouble understanding the theory part of DSA or if you are someone who wants to understand the working of DSA or is having trouble visualizing the DSA, then this is a great course for you. Or if you're a complete beginner and you want to jump into DSA, then again, this is a great course for you. He has explained everything really, really well. But the only two things that you should be aware of if you're buying this course is that first, there is no dynamic programming. And second, the focus is on the main focus is on the theory and the understanding, the implementation rather than the problem solving. Okay, now let's get to the next course in my list. List. Next up, we have Pratik Narang's course. So Pratik Narang is a very famous personality in the software community, at least in India, and he has some great courses. And this is one of his course. So this course is focused completely on problem solving of DSA. Like Abdul Bari's course was focused more on the theory part, the understanding part, and on the flip side, this course is focused on the problem solving. So he explains how you can use data searches and algorithms to solve problems. He has chosen like the top 150 problems, which he explains in this course how to solve. And he explains like how your thinking should be. He explains how to optimize your code. He explains you how to write code. And the best part is that he does everything using C++ STL which is very important to learn if you are going into DSA. And he explains techniques like sliding windows, hashing, maps, and sets. So this is a really, really great course. This is my personal favorite course. If you want to become a be better problem solver in DSA, and if you have some basic knowledge of DSA, if you already know what DSA are, and you want to be good in problem solving for DSA, then this is the best course for you. But like I said, you need to have basic knowledge of DSA and basic knowledge of C++ to take this course. And he also covers dynamic programming and graphs, which are two of the most difficult part of DSA. So this is again a great course, but you do need to have basics of basic knowledge of DSA. Now, if you're taking this course, then you can also take this course along with it. So this course, Data Structures and Algorithm, using C++ is also by Pratik Narang. So these two courses are, are by the same person. And this course is focused on the data structures and algorithm. So this was completely focused on problem solving, like I said, and this is focused on the theory and implementation as well. So in this, he also explains how to implement a data structure. He also explains how the data structure works and everything. So these two courses can be coupled together. So if you are buying one of them, I highly suggest buying the other one as well. So this is like, this covers the theory and implementation and this covers the problem solving. 
both of these courses together will be a great asset for you for learning DSA. So if you are if you are taking one of these courses, then I highly suggest taking both because both of them kind of complement each other in a way. Okay, so the next step on my list, the rank one on my list, I have DSA Self Paced by Geeks for Geeks. So this is hands down one of the best DSA courses that I could find. And it is a bit more on the expensive side. So it is a bit more expensive than the Udemy courses, but it is completely worth it. So they start from scratch. They teach you everything that you need to know for DSA. There's no prerequisites for taking this course. And they explain and implement everything in both C++ and Java. So if you are someone who wants to learn in C++, you can take this course. Or if you are someone who wants to learn in Java, you can take this course. So you don't have to worry about the language. They have both C++ and Java. And they also have company wise questions. They also have topic wise questions. So the problem solving aspect of the course is really solid as well. They also teach you how to solve problems and they have the best problems for you that you can practice on here. So the problem solving part is pretty solid. They also have video tutorials for the problems that you'll be solving and they also have doubt assistance. So if you're stuck in a particular problem or if you can't understand a particular piece of code, then you can reach out to them for doubt assistance. They also have classes where you can learn things live. They have recorded video lectures so that you can learn at your own pace, thus the name DSA Self Pace. And the theory part, the understanding part is again top notch. Like I said, the problem solving part is solid and the theory part is solid as well. So whatever the algorithm is, whatever the data structure is, they explain the theory really, really well. And they also have a DSA based project with which it increases your understanding of the data structure and algorithm. So that's it guys, this was the list I had. I'll give all the links in the description. From there you can purchase everything that you want. And in the future, like I said, I'll be making more lists like this while including more websites. Right now I only had this so far. So that's it, you can check these courses out and if you have any doubt about which one you should take, feel free to ask me in the comments, I'll be sure to answer. Thank you.